Hello. Today I will show you how to make a uh, Xbox 360 game disk from the backup files. Now if you have um, a backup game file, it should be here uh, in the ISO format. And whether you make it yourself or you get the, f you get the file from somebody else, it should always be in ISO. Um, in order to make a f uh, fully functional Xbox 360 game disk. In order to play that disk, you also need to have your Xbox 360 flashed. That means your the DVD drive, the motherboard of that your DVD drive on your Xbox 360 console should have been uh, the firmware should have been flashed with a uh, unlocked version so that you can play the burned copy of a game and I, I do have a video showing you how to uh, replace the the, the DVD uh, main board or fix a damaged board if you're trying to flash it uh, with, the, with the drilling method. Anyway, so once you acquire this file, ISO file, it should be in this size should be like 7.4 gigs. That's the XDG2 format. Um, you can you may also have the X, X DG3, which is uh, bigger, which requires overburn or truncate method. But we'll talk about that later. Now, now that you have this file, you need to create a DVD file. This is the image file, uh, kind of a mapping of the ISO file. Uh, in order to to burn, you do, you do need to have this one. But if you don't have this one, don't worry. Uh, we're going to show you how to create this one. So what you need to have is a um, program called ABGX360. Okay, so now we'll go to browser and search for ABGX360. Now here on the first result is the website. So basically you just need to download and install it on your computer. Once that's done, this program will do two things. First, ver create a DVD file if you don't have one. Secondly, verify the DVD file uh, has all the here topology uh, data and everything correctly so that the disk will not be uh, in error. It will check errors for you and fix errors for you basically. Okay, now that you have downloaded and installed ABGX360 program, go ahead and launch it. This is the main uh, interface. Uh, on this screen, don't touch anything, just click Open Files and search for the files, uh, ISO files on your hard drive and select that. Once it's showing the, this game file, click this tab, Auto Fix. Now, Auto Fix has uh, several uh, threshold levels. If you Normally you can choose level 2. It means it will try to find an error for you, but it won't correct that error. And if there's no error, it just basically passes the, uh, uh, the verification and creates a DVD file. But you might as well set it to level 3, because if there is an error, obviously you want this program to fix it for you. So setting level 3 will fix that uh, error in the DVD file. And if there is no error, then it basically it's the same as level 2. So my, uh, might as well set to level 3. And once you set that, click Launch. So you can see it's, uh, it's, it's verifying from the online database uh, if this is a valid game file, ISO, and uh, uh, the region information or the uh, CRC error correction information, and if there's any problem, it will fix, try to fix that, uh, making th making sure the stealth mode is is everything is correct basically. So just uh, wait patiently for this percentage to be to reach 100%, and uh, it uh, will uh, finish with a DVD file. Once that's done, or if there's an error, it obviously will correct that. But once everything is done. Uh, you can just press enter key on your keyboard to exit the screen. Um, 
and then you go to your uh, file browser, file explorer, you can see a DVD file has been created or corrected in that folder. So you now have in that same folder you have two files. One is ISO and one is DVD. And the first part basically is now done. So next part is simple, is to uh, burn that DVD file uh, using a, a program to your uh, DVD disk. Now for Xbox 360 you need a dual layer DVD blank media. A single layer wouldn't do because single layer is only 4.7 gigabytes and these files as you can see is 7.5 or uh, even more than that. So you need to get a dual layer DVD media. Now this is done, we're going to press enter key and it access the screen. Okay, at this stage, before we can uh, start burning that disk, we need to find the blank media that's suitable for Xbox 360 games. Uh, the best one, if you don't mind paying a little extra money, would be the verbatim. If you type in DVD R dual layer, you can find these verbatim discs on either eBay or Amazon. Uh, these are very, very good uh, discs, although they are quite expensive. You can see it's almost like a what a, a dollar, uh, a dollar a disc. These basically you have no error in these, and it, it will burn 100%. But if you're on a budget and you can actually uh, try this TDK. DVD dual layer Yeah, so this uh, TDK uh, DVD are dual layer discs are less expensive but they work just as as well or the, if you check the online review, you'll see some some people uh, might have trouble with it, but uh, most likely they're not setting the burning speed correctly. If you, they set at the correct speed, there shouldn't be a problem. I have I bought this 50 pack uh, from Amazon. I have burned almost all of them. Not a single one has failed. Okay, so it's it's perfectly okay. Okay. Now that well, we have got the file and the disk, we're going to find a program to burn it. And the best one would be IMG Burn. So if you search for that, the official website, Image Burn, and basically just download the file, it's free, and install it. Okay, now that you have Image Burn, Download it and install it on your hard drive. Go ahead and launch it. This is the main screen. Uh, what you want to select is write image file to disk uh, and click here to uh, browse for a file. Now, as I said before, when you did these two out of the, these two files you have now on your hard drive, you should uh, select the DVD file .dvd. So go ahead and select that and most important part here, uh, once you insert your DVD dual layer disk uh, in your DVD drive, you want to set the writing speed to 2.4. It's not necessary to set to 1 or 2, but 2.4 is the maximum you want to do. If you go higher speed, it will burn fast, faster, but you'll have a failed disk, most likely. So 2.4 works every time. So set it to 2.4, make sure that's done. And then uh, just click, go ahead and click right. Once you click right, it would start burning. Probably take a long time, but eventually that will be done. And if you pop that into your flashed Xbox 360 console, the game will work perfectly. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video.